Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie, and today we have a makeup haul. Let's put on my new Fermu glasses. We got us a new band. <laughs> Let's get into this haul. I've been shopping, putting stuff in this new band, and let's just talk about it before we go any further i would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification turn your post notification to all give this video a thumbs up for more makeup hauls and comment a emoji kiss ah, down below right now now let's get into it okay so i'm gonna start with the salads Okay, we're gonna start with the salad since it's so quick and easy. For one, I've been going to two different salads here in my area, looking for that Beauty Secrets nail glue that everybody has been raving about. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, threads and all of them. You know what I'm talking about, for months. I have been going to these two different ones in my area and haven't felt the need to go outside of my area to look for this, but they never have it. And on Amazon, they're like 20 something dollars. And I was like, no bueno, you know, like who's gonna pay $20 for some nail glue? But I heard it was really, really, really good glue. So I've been hunting it down and then, you know, stocking my Sally's and I went there the other day and I was on the phone with my wife and I was like, you know what, this is my second time going to the store because the first time I went in that same particular day, they were closed. It was on a Sunday. Didn't know they opened at noon. So I was like, you know what, if they don't have it this time, I'm going to tear a whole store down. Okay. I was joking, but I wasn't joking. So. I went up in there and looky, looky what I found. So I grabbed two. So this is the Beauty Secrets Quick Dry Nail Glue that everybody's been talking about. I finally found it and they had, I think it was like three or four bottles. So I went ahead and picked up two and I was talking to the lady at checkout and she was like, are you looking for this one or are you looking for the one with the yellow top? And I was like, well, what's the one with the yellow top? And then she pulled it out and I was like, that is it because that is the one I see everybody with. So this one is called the Beauty Secrets Nail Glue. The one in the squeezy tube is the Quick Dry. So I got two of these and one of these okay and she told me that they keep them behind the counter now and that they have a lot they were roughly about seven dollars a piece so i was like girl come on give it here let's go so i will be trying it tonight to put on my press on toenails <laughs> okay and i also picked up a little file so that i could do all my little stuff so hopefully y'all didn't hype this up after months of me looking for it okay anyways moving on i did pick up me another collab product this time this one was on clearance for 649 this is the dark peach concealer liquid color corrector so i did pick it up since i have been back into color correcting now and plus it was six dollars instead of like 13 bucks so i was like good deal and to my surprise because I don't go on Sally's a lot to my surprise Lime Crime is in Sally's Beauty now did y'all know that because I didn't know that okay okay so I did pick up one because they're $13.99 I picked up one soft focus lip balm from Lime Crime and these are called the plushies and I did get the color Butterscotch. Super cute packaging. I always loved Lime Crime's packaging. So I was like, let me just pick up one because I haven't fooled with Lime Crime in a long time. So looks like that. Super cute color. 
Um, but yeah, it's probably the cheapest when it comes to drugstore, but I was still like, mm -mm. oh yeah, that's going to be cute. I wish it was a tad bit lighter, like a little bit more nude, but okay, let's talk about Sephora really quick because I popped into one of the Sephora's that are in like a JCPenney. No, it was inside of a Kohl's. So let's just talk about it real quick because i only picked up two items and they were travel size so i did pick up the fenty skin clean earth conscience butter the body butter i don't know what it's called let's open her and see whipped oil body cream from fenty skin i did pick up a little travel size because I wanted to try it. Oh, it did smell good. It smells really clean. Soft girl era. Let's, let's try a little bit. I've been hearing a lot of things about the Fenty skincare, body care products. And I heard the cinnamon or whatever one is like the hit. But I was like, let me get a little one instead of, ooh. Instead of spending full price on one and I may not like it. But she's soft. Oh yeah, she's a clean girl. Like, fresh, clean girl, soft era. Girl, this is what Rihanna smell like on a daily. I bet. And then I picked up the one size by Patrick Starr. Is On Till Dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray everybody raves about this so i was like you know what let me get it uh, let me try it i did try it already and girl this stuff spray on like got to be glue hairspray and when i say your makeup do not budge i have to go and get a full size of this I, I so seriously gotta get a full size. So if you guys were wondering, mm -hmm. all right, so let's pop over to Poshmark. I did place an order for Poshmark from a seller. She had this ColourPop little collection here. So I was like, you know what? Let me get it. I never seen this ColourPop collection. So let me get it and see what it's about. So, I did get the pressed powder blush, and it's considered pearlized and cosmopolitan. I don't think I'm going to like the blush because the blush do kind of look like it gives a shimmer. So, let's swatch real quick. Yeah, see, it gives a shimmer. I don't think I'm going to like it, but hey, it's okay. We live and we learn. I did get a ultra matte lip and the color is a double date cute packaging love it color pop comes out with so much that I just be falling off with the drops but here is that color this is kind of the color I was hoping butterscotch would have been I'm not gonna lie oh yeah see that's more of a nudie color that I like wearing so that's gonna be great hopefully this collection is somewhat somewhere available and she also put in the so juicy plumping lip liner and this one is in slay which looks like it would be deep enough for me again packaging is super freaking cute Ooh, it's real creamy that it broke easily. So here is the lip liner color. Not as dark as I would prefer it, but at least it shows up on my skin. So it'll be good enough to use on the lips. So Fly palette was in there. She looks like this. Soft, simple colors with a pop of green. And then Weekend Mood palette and it looks like this super cute can't wait to use it so if you guys were wondering yeah shop on Poshmark 
it be fun over there. <laughs> All right, y'all. I had to switch my glasses. You know how new glasses are when you first get them in, they feel a bit stronger. So I had to switch over to my other glasses for right now until I can wear my new ones from Fur Moon. Like I said, we're moving on like Maya into Ulta. I did a online Ulta pickup for in-store pickup. And I wanted to try out some of Juvia's Place newer products. And I don't know why, but when I actually have a little spending cash, I don't know what to spend it on. But when I don't have the extra spending cash, I'm wanting to buy everything in the store so that's kind of what my problem was i wanted to try some new juvia's place products but i didn't know what to get so i only picked up two things from juvia's and one simple thing from Too Faced. so yay me let's go ahead and talk about the Too Faced. the only thing i picked up was the Too Faced Conditioning Soothing Hangover Pillow Balm. The Hangover Pillow Balm. And this one is in Watermelon Kiss. I haven't heard anything about it, but it looks super cute and fun. Let's try to put it on now. Hopefully it don't mess up my color. She smells good. She smells like watermelon, but she gives a hint, not a hint, she gives a cooling sensation. So these are pillow bombs. These are ultra hydrating and nourishing lip treatments infused with mineral, mineral rich stardust. I'm here for it. It smells good. It's minty. It feels cool on my lips. So. I'm glad I bought that. I want to get another one. All right, so the two Juvia's Place products I did pick up. I did purchase them online and did an in-store pickup. When I went to pick it up, I don't know why I didn't check to make sure I had got the right color. But once I got home and thought about it, I didn't have the right color. So the other day, I went to another location to see if I could exchange for the right color. And thank God they did let me so i did pick up the new juvia's place i am magic radiant foundation and i did get tanzina here is the foundation she's much darker than the original one i chose <laughs> the shades online do fool you because once i got it in i was like girl way too light and when i went in store to exchange it Tanzia was further down the line into the deeper shades than that actual color that I did choose the first time but online that color actually looked like it would have matched me so if you're doing something like that online go in store hopefully this is a full coverage foundation it says it's a radiant foundation so hopefully we could do a tutorial first impressions type of ordeal on it and then i had got a setting powder which is i am magic powder foundation again the color that i chose was way lighter i thought i was gonna keep it and use it for my under eye instead but i was like no you know what just get your colors so that you can wear them together so i did get Cadona. So here is Cadona. I love the packaging. And here is the shade. Again, way further down the shade line than the original one that I thought would fit me perfectly. Let's move on to, oh, I forgot one out of my Poshmark. I did, she also gave me this, I forgot. This just says ColourPop on it. I don't know what palette it is. Um, nine times out of ten, I'm not going to use it because look at how messy it came. Nine times out of ten, I'm not going to use it. I may sanitize it and use it just to see what it's about, but I probably nine times out of ten won't. 
let's move on to CBS. But really quickly, I did go to Target too. And I just picked up two brushes from Target. I was looking for the e.l.f. liquid blushes, but ended up not picking up any one of them. So I just picked up two brushes from e.l.f. Which I got the Ultimate Blending Brush and the Complexion Duo Brush. So I went ham and CVS. Not gonna yai. Not gonna yai. I went ham and CVS. So I did go into my CVS. Haven't been in there in a very long time. And I just, you know, strolled up and down the aisles. I did find a Black Radiance, the Color Perfect foundation stick, and I got it in 6826. Like, why would y'all do that? <laughs> Chocolate dipped. And I'm mad because once I take the packaging off, I'm not gonna know it no more. I remember back in the day when Black Radiance first came out, I used to love the foundation sticks. So, I was like, you know what, let's go down memory lane and see if they're still good like you thought they were back in the day. So again, I got chocolate dipped and she looks like this, which almost looked too rich. So I may have to use her as a contour. Ooh, yes girl. Ooh, I probably did not mean to pick that up. But I can use her as a contour because baby, she's giving rich chocolate D. I also picked up two Black Radiance concealers. I do have the shade, I hate that. Black Radiance, come on. Put a sticker on the product that says the name instead of the packaging. Because once we take the packaging off, we don't remember the name. Please and thank you. Okay, so I did get light to medium, and then medium is the two shades. What else did I get that's black radiance? Nothing. So I'm moving on to black opal. I haven't seen black opal in my stores in my area in a very long time. So I kind of like forgot about them. They used to be in our Walmart, but I guess they ended their contract years ago, so my CVS has it. So, I picked up two black opal products. I did pick up the Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation, and I got 520 Hazelnut. Let's hope that that is the right shade. Oh yeah, okay. Looks a little bit orangey, but we probably could work with it. Probably. So let's go ahead and give her a pumpy pump. Here's what she's looking like. I think we could possibly make that work. I'm not mad at it. I think we can make that work. And then I must have picked up, oh no, Caramel Crush and the Press Powder. Thought I would have to put hazelnut, but I guess not. All right, so let's give it a swatchy swatch and see what she's giving. Oh, she's giving blended. <laughs> she's giving right on in there. You can't even see it. And I'm actually swatching. You see it on my finger? What? I'm giving she's a perfect match. Okay, so excited about that black opal. Thank you, girl. And then I did pick up a Uma Beauty. For some reason, our CVS has Uma Beauty. Our Walmart had or has Uma Beauty. So I picked up a foundation, and this is their Flawless in Real Life Skin Perfecting Foundation. And this one is in Brown Sugar T1. So, hopefully, she's a good match. Too much. Her pump works. Here we go. She's giving black opal. Put too much. 
She's getting orange. Yeah, she may come off a little orangey, but it's okay. I think I can make that work as well. Then I picked up a, finally, a Maybelline lip plump. So this is Maybelline's plump. Well, what are we calling these? Lip plumpers, I guess. I got blush, blush blaze in this lip gloss. My twin is telling me to try it. So twin, I know you're watching. I'm finally gonna try it. But I guess you call them the lip plumpers. I only got one shade just to try it because she said it's really good. So I'm gonna try it. I did pick up the Creme Shop Cheeky Liquid Blush. I got the color Coral Me. And if you guys remember or been watching me for a long time, I've been a big fan of the Creme Shop for a long, long, long time. I have two favorite products from them their set and spray and their swipe right brow gel mm, baby this stuff is good look how cute the packaging is though like seriously the little heart so this is coral me liquid blush she looks like that she looks like she's gonna be really pretty on the skin oh yeah She's going to be given. I was kind of scared that she may not show up. But she's showing up and showing up. Okay. Now let's hope when we go to do our first impressions or something. She does the same exact thing. And then lastly from CVS. I did finally pick up a Elf liquid blush. Okay. So this time I got very well. Don't know why y'all don't. Don't. Don't question me. Don't judge me. I don't know why I did it like that. But here is Barry Well. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, she's going to be it. Oh, yes. Oh, she's darker than Barry Well. Can't wait. So that was everything from CBS. Okay. Now, moving on to the last bag. Okay. My beauty supply store. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Ruby Kisses Ultra Soft Micellar Waterproof Makeup Remover with Witch Hazel in it. I, that's what I've been using to wipe off my swatches because they were sitting here, but... I needed some more makeup wipes, so I said I want to try these from Ruby Kisses, and so far they're really good. I've been using them since I picked it up. I also picked me up an I Envy Super Hold, Super Strong Hold Eyelash Glue. This one is in clear. No rhyme or reason, just wanted to try a different brand than Salon Perfect, and what is it called? kiss just wanted to try something different okay that's all so i picked up the super strong hold in clear i did also pick up the magic collection bling bling lash glue eyeliner this is the lash glue liner lash glue and eyeliner all in one it is black but you guys honestly i already tried it because of where I work, I want to be able to encourage people to purchase products that we sell. So, of course, I picked me up one so that I can wear it and suggest it to people. But I will not be suggesting this one. Okay. Unless these are just old, it doesn't work at all. It's very stiff. Very... It's not tacky at all for the eyelashes. So I was like, yeah, no. I also picked up the Lift and Snatch NYX Brow. What is this called? Brow Tint Pen. Yeah. And I got the shade Espresso. Now, I do see Kelly Strat here on TV. Congratulations on Carter Christopher. But I see her using this a lot. And I was like, you know what? I want to use it. I want to see what it's like. 
it be looking so good when she using it. So I was like, let me get me one and let me try it. So I got me one influenced by the influencers. Okay. So here is the pen and all you do is like brush stroke them to make fine hair lines for the brows. So I can't wait to try this bad boy out in a video. I picked up Ruby Kisses Cream Duo. This is a blush duo and sugar apricot. I have used it. She's a cutie. But I think it would be best if you warm it up with your finger and then dab it on. Because using it on a brush, you won't get as much payoff. But she is a pretty color. So here is the two shades. And you can't see them too well. And they almost look alike, but they're cute. I think I'm going to pick up, uh, I think there's a deeper one at my job. So yeah, I'm going to pick it up. I also picked up the Ruby Kisses Topaz palette, which interested me. They have quite a few, and I probably will pick up quite a few. Super cute, bronzy colors, everyday type of wear to work. So, yeah, I was like, okay, Ruby Kisses, let's see what you about, girl. Let me swatch one of the shimmers. Ooh, very soft. I like the way that looks. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Creamy, buttery. I gotta do another one. Oh. Baby. Baby. Come on, Ruby Kisses. Come through. Can't wait to use that on camera. All right. I got a lot of Ruby Kisses products. Can y'all guess where I work? Everything in here is almost Ruby. It's almost Ruby Kisses. Where you at? Oh, should I write about you now? Okay. You heard the sound too long? Yeah. Hello? Where your phone at? You over there at his house? Yeah, All right. Digging through the bag, I realized that I must have dropped one of the ColourPop <laughs> products in it because I did not most definitely get this from my job. I also got it in that Poshmark uh, order. So this is a glossy lip in the shade It Girl. I just wanted to show that really quick. She looks like that. Really pretty color. Back to basically all my Ruby Kisses. I did finally pick up a Ruby Kiss Lip Oil Booster. It's called a Lip Oil Booster. I've been picking up everybody's lip oils, okay? I just want to see who can top Elf Lip Oil. And so far, nobody. I have finished two Elf Lip Oils, and I am currently working on the CoverGirls Lip Oil. And everybody else's lip oil I've been picking up. Ruby Kisses do have a couple of shades in their lip oil. But I just decided to pick up the clear. So I can't wait to put that to the test. I also picked up a NYX Smooth Whip Lip Cream. This one is in the shade Pancake Stacks. Super cute. Now I did wear this already to work. And because it is a matte lip cream, it doesn't necessarily stay. And it is like a whipped texture. If you can see it on the wand, it is like a whipped texture. But it is a pretty color and they're cute, but you will have to put it in your purse and freshen your lips up throughout the day. I picked up a Ruby Kisses 3-in-1 Stick Foundation. This one is in 355 Cappuccino. And we do have testers, so I did test it, and this was a perfect shade for moi. Do y'all want to see, like, a full Ruby Kisses review? 
because I'm sitting here looking and I think I basically got a lot of Ruby Kisses products. I may be missing like a press powder or a couple more things, but I could get it and we could do a full Ruby Kisses review. I'm going to swatch it for y'all. Here is the shade right there. Real creamy. Seems to be really thick. So, yeah. I also picked up the Ruby Kisses Fresh All Day Matte Foundation. I have worn this. Absolutely love it. This is in the shade Maple. I do be wearing this to work a lot as well. I picked up the Ruby Kisses Intense Lip Liner. This is in Burgundy Brown. So let's see. I'm trying to get me some deep brown lip colors that become a part of my staple. I want some lip liners. I want a couple of products that are going to be considered holy grail. This lip liner, oh heck yes. It does give off a tad bit burgundy, but it does give off brown. So yeah, I think I'm going to like this. And it does have the little brush on the end to smear it. Um, and then lastly, I got a Ruby Kisses. What is this called? It is Ruby Kisses Butter Balm Lip Gloss. And this one is in 11 Fairy. She looks really pretty. Real shimmery, champagne-y type of color. Oh, she's giving clear but shiny. It's almost like a milky shade. All right, so that's all of the makeup. So what I have left in here is going to be all Ruby Kisses as well. I just picked up some nail care. So I got the Ruby Kisses Ultra Growth. This is Aloe Extract. This is cuticle remover coconut oil. We have the garlic strengthener. And we have the cuticle care with tea tree oil. So that's everything you guys. That is all of the makeup I have been shopping and picking up lately. It's not a lot, but we got some things, you know, we got some things to play with i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and i will catch you beautiful people later deuces